Hello Hawks. I wish we were all together today to celebrate, but it seems our world had different plans for us this year. Graduates, I am so proud of you. I remember when you arrived in grade nine and we were a bit worried. You were a feisty group. However, we soon learned while energetic, you were also kind, compassionate, intelligent, and curious. I would be remiss if I did not mention that Garrett Mills should be graduating with you today. Our thoughts are with his family and with all of you, his dear friends, as you remember him today. When you remember your last year of high school, you will certainly have some stories to tell. You can say, I graduated in the middle of a pandemic. I would like to thank the parents, teachers, and support staff who have helped you get to this point. I would especially like to thank the Students Council Executive for their leadership and hard work this year. Marshall, Kenny, Allie, Maggie, and Noah, you will be missed. Your prank video scaring the teachers was the best and will never be forgotten. A huge thank you to Ms. Kelsey, Mr. Sheffield, and Ms. Burma, who have worked so hard to make this graduation special for you. A special shout out to two teachers who are retiring this year after many years supporting the NDSS community. Mr. Barstow and Mr. McKinney, we would like to wish you all the best in this next chapter of your life. Ox, you are ready for the next step in your journey. You have worked hard, your family has prepared you, and this school has prepared you. Go out and show the world how wonderful you are and make good choices. Love you, Hawks. Graduation is a milestone. While it marks the culmination of your secondary school studies, it is so much more than a diploma. It is a symbolic milestone of moving from childhood to adulthood. The pandemic has our world in crisis, but you, our students, will come out stronger. It is our graduates, our young people, who have demonstrated your resilience and responsibility to lead the way. I know that you will be change makers who will help us move forward in a positive and constructive way, leading to great things. This may not be how you expected to end your high school career, but we hope it will still be memorable. I am incredibly proud of you graduates. Today we celebrate your personal successes, your significant commitment to your education, your desire to achieve, your hope for a bright future. Graduates, your schools, your families, and I have endless hope for you. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2020.
Dear friends and families, hello. I'm Marshall McFarland, and today I get the honor of speaking on behalf of the graduating class of 2020. First off, this sucks. Believe me, I know. There isn't a day that goes by where I don't wish things were different, but here we are, so enough is enough. This is supposed to be a celebration, so let's try and make the best of it. Okay, before I say anything else, it's time for some long overdue thank yous. I'd like to thank my fellow graduates for making my experience at high school such a good one. I know I can't speak for everyone. There are a bunch of you like me who absolutely love their time here, so thank you. Next is to the friends and family that raised my classmates and myself. It is truly amazing what you've done. I know it wasn't easy raising us. And lastly, to the teachers and staff of NDSS. Wow, I'm impressed. I can't begin to say how glad and appreciative I am to have had you as teachers, advisors, friends, and role models over the last four years. Now looking back on my time here, I'm sure that many of us shared similar experiences and thoughts. Things like, why is second period so long? And are these math teachers even speaking English right now? Like Miller, what even is a lippy do? I'm sure many of us will remember the walks to Tim's and La Pizzeria at lunch because we couldn't drive yet, and how the walk back was always much quicker than the walk there because we didn't want to be late for fourth. Or even waiting in line for 15 minutes at the calf to pay $7 for the meal of the day and a watered down blue drink, which to this day is still an unknown substance. These are memories that might be forgotten, but for some of us will last a lifetime. It's not the marks you got in science or math or the one big game that you remember. It's the little things that make high school memories so much sweeter and lasting, and truly make us golden hot. I'll never forget the first days of grade 9 when I had no idea where I'd sit at lunch, so I just sat in front of my locker in Sea Hall. Luckily, so did a lot of other people. This became a normal thing, and it's why I'm friends with a lot of you today. I wish we had had those last few months to spend together, to make final memories, but sometimes that's just how it goes. We can't get everything in life, but I'm sure glad I've got the memories I do. So now what? Well, I've only got one piece of advice, and it's not from me. It's from someone who should be here today, Garrett Mills. Even though I couldn't have known what 2020 would look like, his words have never been more important or more appropriate. Get out there and change this world for the better. Thanks. Stay classy, Napanee.